everybody welcome back with the plapper platypus is the name and what you see on the screen is correct sea of stars has officially passed certification on all platforms now why am i making a video about essentially nothing give me one second let's crank this a little bit now i don't know how many of you do or don't know about sea of stars however i am a 200 dollar backer they get they went bigger all right, I'm not the biggest backer, but that was about as big as I could afford at the time. So I, this is a project that was on Kickstarter. Oh, I don't, I think um, must have been February, March, 2020, something like that. So right, like in prime uh, COVID times, this is when this uh, it came out. But I, uh, this is finally the game is coming out in just under two weeks, and I am a big believer of this project. I have been waiting for this game eagerly. There should be a purple platypus statue somewhere in the game. I don't know where. I'm hoping that I, when I back the game, that's what I told him I wanted. So hopefully it's in there. But I am going to be covering Sea of Stars extensively as much as I can. I'm My current content plan... Anyway, what is Sea of Stars really quick? It's a... It's a retro-inspired RPG, so it's going to be a modern RPG, but um, it pulls inspiration from things such as Chrono Trigger, um, maybe like Secrets of Mana, Super Mario RPG, that kind of stuff, right? Where it's uh, like you can go and explore the environment and get into fights like in Chrono Trigger, but then there's input commands like there is in... Um, uh, Super Mario RPG so it, it takes a lot of these things that made some old RPGs really great and it's trying to take a modern take on it trying to take a modern take on it um, but I've played the demos I've had a lot of fun with it I'm actually interested if there's any other tweets here but I plan on covering the game pretty extensively when it comes out my current content plan is to basically first go through play the game right stream my playthrough record my playthrough post that on YouTube whatever but I also then want to start making any kind of guides I can, you know, walkthroughs, tips, videos, stuff like that. And then, assuming the game is as good as I feel like it's going to be, I would love to try speedrunning the game and getting into what is it to be a Sea of Stars speedrunner. Um, also, if you want to know kind of a bit about this game, there are demos available, actually. I think if we go to um, Steam, it's probably on everything, honestly. Like, I'm a little out of the loop because I... I played the original one when it came out. Um, there is a demo. There's a demo available on Steam. I know the, the, it's zoomed in too far, but you can go check this out. I think it came out for Steam Next Fest. But after you play the demo, you can also watch the new 30-minute documentary of The Escapist. That's what I watched. But, yeah, basically, I just wanted to make a video talking about the game, kind of telling you guys that I plan on covering it. Honestly, I would, I would love to start playing it now. That way I could have more... Like, with Octopath Traveler 2, like, almost a couple weeks before launch, I started making tons of videos because we had a more extensive demo in the sense that it was, like, two hours or something of, like, uncapped gameplay, basically. You could just play through all the intros, so you could go start doing builds. You could start doing, oh, how to build early characters, how this character is different from the last. There was a lot of good video ideas here. This, I'm going in pretty blind, other than the fact that I've played the demo, and so I understand the flavor of the game, in a sense. I know the idea of i know the i know kind of like the, what the aesthetic is i know the basics of the mechanics um i've seen kind of the art direction of the game um although the first demo and second demo were pretty different not in terms of mechanics but there was a whole um like flesh cave like a flesh mancer cave in the first demo with like a a giant evil gorilla like that was really fun but i i don't think that came back so it was a really dark uh evil looking area in the um first one but yeah basically that's it i'm just gonna start rambling on but i'm very excited for this game i hope you guys are excited for this game i would love it if you wish list it get hyped for me if you're an octopath traveler 2 enjoyer then this will absolutely be a game that's easy for you to love i suspect go check it out on steam it is gonna be a bit of a pricey game i think it's um i think it's 35 bucks which isn't like ridiculous um i think it's totally fair asking price but just keep in mind it is a slightly above what you'd consider a an indie rpg thing i think this game has a bigger scope than uh what you would expect though out of it anyway I, i'm excited i spent 200 i'm biased all right I, i'm excited so as a backer i'm happy to see that 
my money is finally i'm finally getting what i paid for in a sense that what i supported you know i i'm happy i got to help support them make what they want right i don't want to have any say or influence over it but it's i saw what their goal was in you know at least they presented their ideas to me and i found them compelling enough that i wanted to support it on a high level even though i never played the messenger um I've heard the messenger is really good, and so that definitely helped, you know, give their studio some credibility to me. Um, but I had never played it myself; it's not my genre. But single-player RPGs are my genre, and uh, it's almost here, 8:29. So I'm recording this on 8:15, so we got just under two weeks, right? Let's take a look here. It's two weeks today this game releases, which is going to be uh, hopefully. A lot of fun i may not play it the day it comes out you know i work 50 hours a week but we're gonna have some fun guys wish list the game and get ready for some more sea of stars content and if you have any uh <laughs> ideas for videos let me know i'm trying to think of what i can actually make uh for content before the game comes out to start making hype but i don't really have access to anything so maybe maybe we'll play through the demo like a week before and we'll kind of go uh, see how far we could push the demo in different ways Anyway, much love. Perplatopus is perplatopus. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. See ya soon in the world of whatever it's called in Sea of Stars. Peace.